High in the Himalayas, a giant sleeps. Mount Everest, a peak above all others. Its summit pierces the sky, a white beacon against the blue. For centuries, people have looked up, drawn to its challenge, inspired by its beauty. Today, we see it anew. Our journey begins at the foot of this giant, where the air is thin and the wind whispers tales of adventure. We will take flight, soaring like the birds, our destination, the summit of the world. Our drone ascends, a silent bird in the thin air. Below, the world shrinks, trees become like moss, rivers mere silver threads. The air grows colder, crisper, the sky a deeper blue. We are entering a realm of ice and wind, a place of breathtaking beauty. Upward we climb, following the contours of the mountain, past glaciers that glitter like diamonds, past sheer cliffs that rise into the clouds. We break through the cloud layer. The world is transformed. An ocean of white stretches to the horizon. Above, the sky is a deep, endless blue. The sun, dazzling, bathes everything in golden light. We are above the world, suspended in a sea of tranquility. The only sound, the whisper of the wind, the summit beckons, a pyramid of snow and ice eternally reaching for the heavens. We circle like a bird marveling at a sight unseen by most. The drone's camera pans, revealing the full panorama. Jagged peaks pierce the sky in all directions. Deep valleys plunge below, shadowed and mysterious. This is a world of extremes, of towering heights and hidden depths, a landscape sculpted by time and the elements, a testament to the power of nature. We linger, absorbing the view, each peak a sentinel, each ridge a story etched in stone and ice. This is the true face of Everest, raw, majestic, unforgettable. Section 5, Colours of the Sky. As the sun begins its descent, the sky erupts in colour. Orange, pink and purple hues paint the clouds. The snow-capped peaks glow with an ethereal light. It is a breathtaking spectacle, a symphony of light and colour, a reminder that even in the most extreme environments, beauty can be found. This is the magic of the mountains, the way they reflect the changing light, the way they make us feel small and insignificant, yet connected to something vast and eternal. Section 6. Serenity in Silence. There's a profound silence here, a stillness that envelops the soul. The wind whispers, but it does not disturb. It is a part of the peace. This is a place to escape the noise of the world, to reconnect with nature, to find solace in the simplicity of the moment. Close your eyes and breathe in the thin cold air. Feel the wind on your face. Listen to the silence. In this moment, there is only peace. Section 7. A world apart. Up here above the world, everything seems different. Problems fade into insignificance. Perspectives shift. The air is thin and the silence is profound, broken only by the whisper of the wind. It's a place where the usual concerns of daily life seem trivial, almost laughable. The sheer scale of the mountains, the vast expanse of the sky and the endless horizon all contribute to a sense of awe and wonder. We're reminded of our place in the grand scheme of things. Standing here, one can't help but feel a deep connection to the earth and the universe. It's a humbling experience that puts everything into perspective. The mountains have stood for millennia, witnessing the rise and fall of civilizations, the ebb and flow of time. They are a testament to the enduring power of nature. The world below seems distant, almost unreal. The hustle and bustle of cities, the noise and chaos of human activity, all seem like a distant memory. Up here, it's just you and the mountain. The isolation is both daunting and liberating. It offers a chance to reflect, to find clarity, and to reconnect with oneself. Here, there is only the mountain, the sky, and the profound sense of being present in the moment. Every breath, every step, Every heartbeat is a reminder of the fragility and beauty of life. 
The mountain demands respect and reverence. It challenges you, pushes you to your limits, and in return, it offers a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment that is hard to find elsewhere. It is a humbling experience. To stand in the shadow of such a colossal natural wonder is to be reminded of our own smallness. Yet, in that smallness, there is a profound beauty. It's a reminder that we are part of something much larger than ourselves. The mountain is a symbol of endurance, strength, and timeless beauty. To be surrounded by such immense beauty, the snow-capped peaks, the clear blue sky, the crisp cold air, it's a sensory overload that leaves you breathless. The beauty of the mountain is not just in its appearance, but in the way it makes you feel. It evokes a sense of wonder, a sense of peace, and a deep appreciation for the natural world. To feel the power of nature in its rawest form, the mountain is a force to be reckoned with. It is both beautiful and dangerous, serene and unforgiving. It commands respect and awe. The raw power of nature is evident in every rock, every crevice, every gust of wind. It's a reminder of the delicate balance of life and the forces that shape our world. To realize the insignificance of our own worries and concerns. In the face of such grandeur, our problems seem small and insignificant. The mountain teaches us to let go, to embrace the present moment and to find peace in the simplicity of being. It's a lesson that stays with you long after you've descended, a reminder of the beauty and power of the natural world. Section eight, moments of reflection. In this chapter, we take a step back to truly appreciate the magnificence that surrounds us. We pause our flight, hovering in the thin air, suspended between earth and sky. The drone captures the stillness, the serenity of this moment. The camera pans slowly, capturing the 360-degree view. Each frame a masterpiece, each moment a treasure. The vast expanse of snow and rock stretches out in every direction, a testament to nature's raw power and beauty. This is what it means to experience Everest through the eye of a drone, to witness the summit up close, to see the intricate details of the ice and rock formations that have stood the test of time, to see it from every angle. From the sharp ridges to the gentle slopes, each perspective offers a new appreciation for this colossal peak, to appreciate its grandeur on a whole new level. The sheer scale of Everest is humbling, a reminder of our place in the natural world. Take a moment to reflect. In the quiet of this high altitude, we find a space for introspection, for understanding the significance of this journey. Let the images wash over you. The tranquil beauty of the landscape invites us to pause, to breathe, to be present in this moment. Feel the awe, the wonder, the peace, this is Everest, a place where the earth meets the sky, where dreams and reality converge. This is the roof of the world, a pinnacle of human aspiration and natural splendor. Here at the top of the world, we find a moment of clarity, a moment of reflection. Section 9, The Descent. As the last rays of sunlight fade, we begin our descent. The drone glides effortlessly following the contours of the mountain. Below, the world slowly comes back into focus. The journey down is just as breathtaking as the ascent. We see the landscape from a new perspective. The shadows lengthen, adding depth and texture to the scene. The air grows warmer, thicker. The sounds of the world return. We are leaving the realm of ice and silence, but we carry the experience with us. Section 10, a lasting impression. Back on solid ground, we look up. The sheer magnitude of Mount Everest is overwhelming, a testament to the raw power and beauty of nature. Standing at the base, we feel a mix of awe and reverence, knowing that this mountain has challenged and inspired countless adventurers before us. Mount Everest stands tall, a silent giant against the darkening sky. As twilight descends, the mountain's silhouette becomes even more striking, a dark outline against the fading light. 
The play of shadows and light creates a mystical atmosphere, making us feel like we are in the presence of something truly extraordinary. It is a sight that will stay with us forever. The grandeur of Everest is not just in its height, but in its ability to evoke a deep sense of wonder and respect. Every ridge, every peak, every crevice tells a story of geological forces and the passage of time. This mountain is a living monument to the Earth's history. We have witnessed the majesty of the Himalayas. The vast expanse of snow-capped peaks stretches out before us, each mountain unique yet part of a greater whole. The Himalayas are more than just a range of mountains. They are a symbol of endurance and resilience, standing tall through the ages. We have felt the peace of the mountains. In the quiet moments, away from the hustle and bustle of daily life, we find solace in the serene landscapes, the gentle rustle of the wind, the distant call of a bird, the soft crunch of snow underfoot. All these sounds create a symphony of tranquility that calms the soul. We have seen the world from a new perspective. From high above, the world looks different, more connected and harmonious. The vastness of the landscape reminds us of our small place in the grand scheme of things. Yet it also fills us with a sense of belonging to something much larger than ourselves. And as we turn away, we know that we are changed. The experience of being in the presence of such natural beauty has left an indelible mark on our hearts and minds. We carry with us a newfound appreciation for the world around us and a desire to protect and cherish it. We are humbled, inspired and filled with a profound sense of gratitude. The mountains have taught us lessons that no book or classroom ever could. They have shown us the importance of perseverance, the value of silence and the beauty of simplicity. We leave with a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. For the experience, for the beauty, for the opportunity to witness the wonder of our planet. This journey has been more than just a physical adventure. It has been a spiritual awakening. We are grateful for every moment, every sight, every breath of fresh mountain air. As the sun sets on this chapter of our lives, we look forward to the next carrying with us the lasting impression of Mount Everest and the Himalayas.